So Kenneth Bird, 4K screen paint using ambulant rejection technology gain. I use these on Facebook Live, but I decided to do one on YouTube. Um, this is a projector I got off of eBay for a hundred and twenty five dollars it's an nec short throw projector i had one of these back in the day um actually a real good projector i think it was the second house we got um i had a 200 inch screen from it so i wanted to cover the entire wall downstairs with a large screen and i decided to uh get myself a short throw projector so 125 dollars for the nec projector 3000 lumens i've had this projector before and this is the first time you buying from this merchant. If all goes well and this projector does a very good job, um, I'm going to buy more, a lot more from them. So, let's see what we got in here. If we get taken or not, if it does work, it's only $125. So, let's see what we got. He said he can't put a new lamp in it. So, we're going to see if i got a new lamp with this. So, this has to be the original lamp. That's the original lamp that came with it. Put that over there so it's good. And the last time I bought this remote control, bought this uh, projector, I got it from the manufacturer at NEC and it didn't even come with a remote control. This one has a remote control. I'm pretty sure there should be a remote control in it. I did a good job of taping it up. Now that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's the original NEC remote controllers that come with them. Now, I bought one from the factory, and I got a refurbished one, and they didn't even give me a remote control. And yet, I got the remote control from the merchant who sold me this power cord. You don't need all that because you got power cords downstairs. Now, let me see the projector. Sorry about the rotation, people. Oh, man. This thing works. It's going to get a lot of business for me. And I mean a lot of business. I had this one guy sold me these projectors. I think I got him 150 bucks for short throw um, uh, Ben Q's. And I bought all 50 of them off of them. So, you know, if you're selling good projectors on eBay, I'll buy them all from you. Because I make a. Oh, nice, nice. Look at that's one thing. No scratches at all. That is clean. That's very, very clean. That's very clean. Wow, okay. Let's uh if I can stop them from rotating so much. Let's take this downstairs. We got something set up. So we can uh plug this up. This is now when I got mine, I thought it was huge. I thought this projector was gigantic, but it's not as big as my Sony over here. My Sony over here is massive. This is bigger than my Sony. This is a short throw. I'm going to cover this whole wall. I told you, I'm going to build a screen. That's going to be massive. So I'm going to cover this whole wall. Hopefully, I can get the whole wall covered up. So now I just got to go down to Lowe's and get my lumber. But I'm praying that it works. Praying that it works. Let's see. Let's plug this up so you can see the back of it. So let's plug this in. Got the power cord all connected. There we go. If it doesn't cut on, no biggie. Like I said, only pay. It will be an, it's going to be an amazing blessing. Let's get the HDMI getting there already. All right, let me see. There we go. Adjust the front a little bit. Let's turn it on. See, hopefully, if we got if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and if it does, it does. I hope it does work. I hope it does. If it doesn't work, then bottom line, I get my hundred dollars back either way. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, see if we can get any kill switches in here. If we got no kill switches on here, 
I've had a few projectors come up, dust, but if it doesn't come on, then we'll basically just contact them and get my money back. It doesn't look like we got a projector that's going to cut on over here. Oops, looks like we might have got duped. $125. So, $125 on this merchant. So, what I'm going to do is, now keep in mind, two things happen. Let me go get my other power cord, make sure we ain't got a dead in the power cord. What we do is, if the projector doesn't cut on, if there's a problem with the projector, what we do is we basically report the, um, the uh, merchant, which means we'll put their poster merchant account um, on our website as an account you don't do business with because they sell faulty wear. And this is a way for me to basically, uh, uh, the do's and don'ts of what merchants to work with. Because that's one of the problems we have. From time to time we do business on eBay. Up and up. And you might be selling you dirty hardware. So um, we're gonna have to post his uh, merchant account on this link. So you know not to go near this merchant because that projector should have cut off. $125. It's not, it's good as money, it's still money, but I'm not going to lose my house over it. But the everyday person, may, that might be their last, first time buying a projector on eBay, and they get it home and it doesn't work. That bother, that would bother them a lot. It doesn't bother me because I pay through everything through PayPal. I have a PayPal business account, so all I got to do is contact PayPal and say, hey, look, it didn't work. And PayPal will contact eBay and whatever goes on, and... Within a week's time, I have my money back on my account. But I'm going to make sure I post his account so that way nobody else falls into the sand trap of uh, whether or not this product is working or not. I'm trying to remember. I used to have one of these. Sometimes the uh, NECs will have kill switches on them. Sometimes the kill switch uh, will not allow the projector to uh, turn on. So let's see. All right then, okay. What did we have hooked up here? So lesson to be learned by Mr. Bird. Sometimes you might have an old cable in your house and that cable might not work. So this cable doesn't work. So, all right. Still, let's see what's gonna happen. Now we got it to turn on. Let's see if this thing's going to power on. Now, the one thing I don't want to see is I don't want to see this light come on right here. If that light pops on, that shows me that the projector's lamp is damaged. I bought a projector for 400 bucks one time, and it was an NEC, it was a, uh, a large venue projector, and that lamp light popped on, and that scared the heebie-jeebies out of me because that right there just tells me, there we go, blue light. We are a go. But yes, then that lamp comes on right there, That'll tell you right there from the door. Got kind of scared her for a minute. For a minute, I thought I got duped. I got taken. $125 for a projector. And I thought I got taken for a minute. But nope. He he did he did buy the book. He did buy the book. So uh merchant who basically sold us the projector. First things first. Let's wait till this thing powers on before I make this statement. Because right now we have it powering on. If it powers on, it might take a while to warm up. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. If I can get myself a screen to pop up here. Lights on right there in the front. Keep in mind, you buy a projector. I've had projectors. I bought projectors before. Yeah, I'm curious myself to see how much wall can cover. I want to know for myself. 3,000 lumens. I shouldn't have to turn the lights out, but let's see if that lamp is fresh. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, looks good on our screen. Let's back it up here, see how far we got. Okay. Let me see if I have to zoom in. I suggest it right there. So this is where I'm at now. So I'm gonna have to do a little, little keystoning. See, I had a screen I had around 200 inches. There's a trick to getting the projector to come down. There's a trick, it's called a keystone trick. And what you do is you take the projector and you put it on a slant like this. So when you put the projector on a slant, it brings the image down and you keystone it in place. That's how I was able to pull off the 200 inch screen. But other than that, it looks incredible on our screen paint. Man, 
and I want to get a bigger screen than this. And this is going to be a problem with that pipe in the way. Don't want that pipe in the way right there. But it should be bigger than this. But this is how far I got it from the screen right there. But not bad for 125 bucks. Not bad at all. Let me see if I can find my other phone so we can throw something on there. And I haven't, this is just still in, come out of the settings yet. But not bad. I was kind of scared there for a minute. I'm thinking I got taken. Yeah. I was kind of scared there for a minute. I'm telling you. Even though it was $125, I still, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted a short throw projector, you know. All right. Thank you. I'm going to do some advertising for that merchant. Good job. Good job. Beautiful. Let's throw some fishy on there. Throw some fish. I got mother projector right I'm in here watching Team Titan. Anytime you see me here at the theater, I'm watching cartoons. Watch cartoons all day. Let's go to go to eBay real quick. Not go to eBay. Go to watch one real quick. So I was kind of skeptical. $125 for a projector, and it came with the remote control and everything with it. I was like, ugh. But you know what? It's $125. Um. It could be a, I paid, mind you, I had a projector one time, a lot of you not, I paid about, uh, uh, about five, almost $400 for this projector. And man, I got it here, I was ready to hook it up, and it was, uh, and it, it didn't come on. Like, it literally didn't come on. And I called the guy up, and me and him got back, going back and forth on the phone, and I'm like, hey, look, you sold me this projector, it doesn't work, and he said, what worked when I left the shop, call PayPal and get my, uh, my money back, but... Um, other than that, um, a lot of projectors I've gotten from eBay were actually really, really good. Um, like I said, I got a, a BenQ um, projector, and the projector only paid about, uh, I paid about how much for that projector? I paid about uh, 150 bucks for a BenQ short throw projector. All right, that's good. Let's get this to pop up real quick. An attic? Are we in the attic? Or are we in the attic too? I'm not sure. I think I hit the screen upstairs. Yeah, screen upstairs and screen down here. So, I apologize. That black technology. All right, not bad at all. Uh, now I just got to get the screen because I want. I need it down at the floor. I need it to hit the floor. So I'm going to. I'm going to have to. Wait, wait. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Pull the witch come up here a little bit. Still not enough right there. There we go. Keystone, automatic keystone adjustment. It's pretty good, it comes in handy, automatic keystone adjustment. Uh, let's see, but we're gonna want, we want it bigger than this. Much, much bigger. So what I have to do is, I got to cut off the automatic keystone, I have to switch it off, and then I'm gonna have to tilt the projector. So I'll show you how it's done. It's how to get a bigger screen. It involves keystone and slanting your projector in order to do it. All right. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm going to play around with this uh, projector for a little bit. Like I said, it has a new lamp in it. And I love it, man. Merchant did a fantastic job. Uh, other than that, too, I want to show you these are the wallpaper projection screens. These just came. These are customers right there. They're going to be going out pretty soon. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I got to go and God bless.